Welcome everyone. There are two very important tricks and tips I want to share with you guys as urgently as I can because what I realized is since yesterday I was making a guide and a lot of the friendly players were telling me in the comments that you do not need to spend your resin for the ley line deposit. And I tried it yesterday, I tried it today and I actually really wanted to make a guide to tell you guys about this. So what this means is you can actually get 450 free battle pass experience just by doing the leyland bosoms every day for the four of those for free without spending resin what you do is you come over here you open up the resin and after defeating the monsters don't go for the chest by killing all seven of the monsters in each of the location you will have complete one of the challenges and this will count up to four times a day for five days you get 20 out of those achievements Keep in mind, there are two of those flowers on the leering side. There are also two of those flowers on the monster side. And this allows us to get the achievement without having to spend any reason. This is very nice. On top of completing the battle pass achievement, the monsters that came from the flower usually consist of some of the boss monsters, including the electric mage. And this takes me to the second most important tip to share with you guys as quickly as I can because this is quite important. We'll be farming monsters for a lot of the materials. What I didn't realize from beta until now is that you can change the cities of the battle monsters. You can hunt for monsters in the monster section with a lot of those boss monsters, a lot of the you know, weekly boss and different little mobs down here. But if you change it into the Lyrian section, you can find more monsters. You can find a flower, you can find some of the majors, assassins, you can find a lot of different ones. I used to have to tag them on my map and I couldn't find them all the time. But having this, it will automatically guide you to all of the important bosses on the map. Very important and very useful. On top of that, it is possible to get purple artifacts for free out of the bosses. They do not require reason. And this is a very nice way. If you're feeling bored, if you go for some challenging fights, come over here and fight some of the bosses. Now, if you're wondering, hey, why do I need to fight the bosses? Well, there are two reasons. One is that you can collect some of those important rewards to prepare yourself as you acquire the next adventure level. Always prepare yourself for the next adventure level to come. I'm preparing myself for the adventure level 40. And if you have a look at my weapons, what you realize is I actually have the weapons ready for adventure level 40. And I have all the materials ready because I've been farming the boss actively as well. I'll show you when these items here. Notice I'm only missing three of those. And this way we can really fast pace our adventure level gaining and also our progress. I'm missing five of those, but I have farmed enough bosses to get the rest of the pieces. And here it is guys, those two tips are very important and very urgent because the earlier you do them, the more rewards you get out of it. And keep in mind guys, if you're looting for items around the flower, do not, do not click to spend your resin on it. Because if you spam like me, you accidentally waste your resin, it is not worth it those flowers. So if you're collecting items from the monster drops, you can get a few. Each of the flowers spawn seven monsters, and this can be a quick way to farm some of your materials for rank up as well. Now, if you found this video helpful, make sure you subscribe and also click the bell for more videos like this to come. As always, I wish you guys best of luck in catching and also have a great time exploring this beautiful world. I'll see you guys next time. Take care, everyone.